Google Site Portfolio Tutorial, How to Create a Free Portfolio with Google Sites. Hi there, you guys. Welcome to another video. And in this video, I'll be walking you through how you can create your own free portfolio using Google. So you might, in, of course, you might know that Google offers a lot of um, services or offers a lot of, there's a lot of things you can do at Google. Um, Google Mail, Google Search Engine, and a lot more. And one of their services is Google Sites. It's a, a website builder that um, eliminates the need for you to learn how to code. And it works with a lot of themes, drag and drop as well, just like any website builder. If you're familiar with Wix, there shouldn't be any problem using Google Sites. But yeah, for the benefit of those who are f totally new with this kinds of stuff, to start using Google Sites, first you must have a Google account. That's a must. So for Apple users, you should create your Google account first. When you have, when you already have a Google account, it's gonna be easy to access all the Google platforms. As you can see here, one Google account encompasses all of the services that they offer, just like the Maps, uh, Play, News, Gmail, Meet, Chat, um, Docs, and a lot more. So the first thing that you need to do, guys, is to create a Google account. That is, if you don't have one just yet and once you're in just go to sites.google.com and let me just go ahead and sign out right here so you can see what appears when you start to uh, go to science.google.in so uh, dot com so now you can see here that when you have a google account you can just click on sign in choose an account and choose the account that you already have and then enter the enter your password you guys so let me just go ahead and enter my password all right. All right. That, that's a long ass password because you know, <laughs> Google accounts should be secure. All right. So I'm gonna just approve it on my phone. And yeah, the verification I like it because it, it actually um involves your phone. So you just have to click what your phone and uh, confirm that it's you who's logging in. And boom, we're inside Google Sites. As you can see here, I've already made a couple of sites. I've already, um, I've created a portfolio and I've created like a online store. I tried creating an online store using Google Sites, but basically you don't want to create an online store here on Google Sites. But for the sake of it um, being shown to you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and browse down. So you can see here, you can add in um, options like photos, and of course texts and as you can see you so you'll have already an idea of how it works uh, we have three tabs here insert pages and themes and what can you insert text box of course these are the text that you want to insert aside from what's already inside the theme the images of course these are the images that you want to upload on your website so you can upload image or you can select from an array of images available for free here on um, Google image search of course you should search for images that are free to use and uh, let me just go ahead and go back to the first i mean the dashboard when you start um, creating your sites here in google all right so the first thing that you can do is to select how would you like to create a site you can start with a blank site means that you'll start from scratch and you'll have the freedom to put in any elements that you want on your site because you're starting from a blank canvas next is of course portfolio this is what you're looking forward to do right so go ahead and click on this one but there are a lot more options like event help center project team and a lot more but we were but we want to create a portfolio so let me just go ahead and click that and let's wait for it to load up okay all right so the first thing that you'll need to set up is of course the first part of your site this is where your customer or this is where the people who will visit your site will land on first so this is what they'll see the first time that they um visit your site okay so as you can see here the template is already uh here it, it, it basically is done you can just go ahead and replace the images right here so what you can do is to um crop uh, b before replacing it you can also um crop the image that you've insert uncrop the image you can also insert link right here so you can link to out a like a photo from a different website and then you can insert the link right over here and the image will load up here and you can remove this image and replace it with what you want or you can also click on this uh, three dots right here and click on replace image 
you can upload an image from your device or you can select an image from your Google Drive or from the Google site or from Google search engine. Okay, so now what you want to do is to try and replace this image. And let's try and hit on upload. And let's choose from the images I already have here. So let me just, um, there you go. Uh, yeah. Or let me just replace it uh, another one. Okay. Okay, it's a portfolio, so let me just go ahead and take this picture right here. All right, there you go. So now you want to crop your image, right? So click on the image, and then crop it like this, and then there you go. And what can you insert? You can also insert text box, like what I said. If you're not satisfied about, you know, the theme and, or the template, you can always add in your own. So you can click on text box and you can basically um, edit and edit and edit. So once you click text box, it will go down and down and down like that. So you can now put in as much text as you want to. And if you want to insert more images, just click this, upload and select. You can also embed things like embedding URL or embedding HTML code. So go ahead and type them down here and embed them right wherever you want on the picture or on the text or on a button as well. But yeah, next is let's check on the pages. So now these are the current pages that you already have on your site or on your portfolio. We have the home page, which is basically what they'll see first once they visit your site. Next is the about page. The about page now basically talks about you and usually it explains or gives on a, um, a wider view of what you actually do as someone who does his or her job. So the landing page gives uh, an introduction and the about page expounds what's on the introduction. And the project page, this is a portfolio template by the way, you can now tell your clients or tell your visitors what projects are you working on so if you currently have uh, projects going on or projects that are done this is where you put them so you can put here the project name and uh, basically try to put here a short description about that project that you've done and you're pretty much good to go so if you want to add in more page just click on or hover over this plus sign and you can choose what kind of page to add you can uh, choose to add in new menu selection you can choose to add a new link if you want to link in a page instead of like creating a page right here on Google Sites. Or you can choose to link on a new page or to create on a new page. And then once you click on create a new page, this is where you name your page. So basically you can say page two of projects, something like that. But yeah, that's the idea, you guys. It's pretty easy to create a portfolio here on Google Sites. So once you start creating your account on Google, the history is the rest. Just go ahead and try to explore it on your own. I'm sure you're not going to be lost because actually the platform is very intuitive. But I hope this video still helped you a lot. So if you like more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us a lot big time. But that's it for this video, you guys. I hope to see you again on the next one. Peace out.